Well, Fox 28 investigates mystery shopping and scammers who are targeting your bank account. For some, it's the chance to make some extra cash and have flexible hours. But secret shopping is a hot market for scammers. ABC 6 and Fox 28 investigators show you how to avoid making a costly mistake, and they'll show you the red flags that signal a scam. Still, a lot of folks are falling for a job that almost sounds too good to be true. This seemed ideal. It fit in with my schedule. I could do it anytime I wanted to do it, so that's why I decided to try it. Investigator Brooks Euros is here this morning. He's been looking into those scammers and whom they target, and he's here with a preview this morning. So they're going after lots of people, but who's the ideal person for a scam? Well, you know, really anybody's at risk here. You know, it sounds pretty good mm -hmm. if you want to go out shopping on someone else's dime, but the truth <laughs> is there are people out there who are willing to give you money, not real money, it's fake money, and ultimately they get into your bank account and take your money. So they huh. ask you to front the money? Is that what it is? And supposedly you'll make the money back? Or well, it here, here's one red flag. If someone asks you to be a mystery shopper, it's probably a scam. Oh. A lot of times what they do is they will give you a check and say, here's a check, go cash it at your bank, and uh, then go out and, and do these this assignment and we're going to show you a woman who actually fell for that uh -huh. and ultimately they go and buy things that then are turned into the scammers and they have different numbers and things that they can uh. then take money from you and they don't find out that there's a bad check until days later after they do the assignment because it takes several days for a check to clear the bank right we're gonna it's really an elaborate scheme yeah so we're gonna kind of take you through and show you many of the red flags and how to avoid this. Once you see the red flags, is it as easy as walking away or do you need to take other steps as while you're at it? Well, you should always report any sort of, if you think you're a victim of a scam. Um, when you see these red flags, which we're gonna detail for you, many of the times you have to basically use a little bit of common sense. Mm -hmm. If it seems too good to be true, it probably always. is. We hear that all the time, right. but this right. really is the case. And uh, people are never going to approach you to go and shop because there's so many people who want to do it who wouldn't want to do it, especially right. if you need flexible hours or you want a little extra cash or something like that. But some of these are legitimate. I mean, there are legitimate mystery shoppers out there. It's just getting hooked up with the right company. Exactly. And we actually talked to some legitimate mystery shopping companies to get their take on this and what you should look for. Okay. And so we'll hear from them and we can tell you where to go if you are interested in being a mystery shopper. It seems kind of fun, but you want to make sure you're with the right the right company. Okay. Brooks, thanks well, very watch. much. Right, Don't you're miss welcome. Brooks's special investigation on mystery shopping scams. It will air tonight on Fox 28 News at 10.